John Karabi or Vince Neal? As what? Wait. Is this? I'm going this... vocalist. Just vocalist? That's not mm. even a question. That's Karabi. I mean, like, it's sort of like saying, like, Sammy Hagar is a way better vocalist than Neil Roth, but goddamn. Oh, see, that's on my list, too. But yeah. I. Yeah. All right, let's stick to the question at hand before you yeah. get out of control. Fine. I'm going with Karabi as well. Yeah. Especially nowadays. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Have you seen like any recent clips of Vince Neil? Oh my god. Yeah, have you seen the two- I have. Uh that's that's why I'm I'm kind of so okay. I am a I'm gonna go and i I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with y'all. I'm gonna say Vince Neil. Because Half of the energy of early Motley Crew comes from Vince Neil. And John Karabi, a great vocalist, but I don't think there is that recognition from uh, a lot of that, 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 that Vince Neil has. I would agree. And I think I was with you until, this is going to be controversial maybe even, but shout out to Devil. And then after that, mm. I, mean, I yeah. don't know what was any good in there. Maybe <laughs> hit or miss a song or two. There wasn't like lots of, and I'm sure there were lots of block, mm-hmm. blockbusters for sure. But as far as like that danger, yeah. that that Motley mm-hmm. Crue strip, you know, hey, we're from the strip and we're dangerous. That left after Shout to Devil. Yeah. Maybe you got the uh, Fates of Los Angeles, but oh, it disappeared mm-hmm. again. Wait, did, did it you did. Ever- Go ahead, go ahead. Did you ever read The Dirt, either of you two? Yeah. Uh, I, I watched the movie, uh, and it is, it's fantastic. Uh, yes. I, I must say um, that I didn't know that that was Machine Gun Kelly, uh, <laughs> who, <laughs> who, uh, who was playing uh, yeah, uh, the Tommy. drummer. Um, yeah. yeah, Tommy, Tommy. Lee. Yeah, Tommy Lee, uh, which is insane because he is a much... He, he's honestly not a bad actor either. Yeah, he was cool. uh, I didn't know that was him. But right. Where I was going with that is like he brings us uh, Nikki Six brings us up in the book. It's almost written like Game of Thrones style in that you know you get a chapter from each point of view and it's funny because they start like contradicting each other or saying like I lied to him here. This is what he thinks. But when he brings up like Shout Out the Devil was kind of the band's breakout and he yes. said the next two Theater of Pain, Girls, Girls, Girls like they're like wild sides, a bitch and song. And I mean, home sweet home is fine, but he's like, I felt like the McDonald's of rock. It was just stuff I put out and made money, but as albums, they weren't good. So yeah, definitely there some gems in there, man. Girls, girls, girls is not a bad album. Mm. Uh, I, I got to girls, say, girls, girls is better than theater of pain, but even then like half of it's really good. I think mm-hmm. like it, it has their best videos for sure. Like their videos yeah. definitely got better after shout out the devil. Yeah, well, there was some money there. That's just me. Yeah, budget, for sure. Um, For what you're saying, like, I definitely prefer the Vince albums, and I hear you on, like, that. I don't think that was him. I think they could have picked any, like, spandex singer off the strip and have made it work. I think Vince was just good at... He was good live. Like, in the movie, they're like, look at all the chicks he's attracting. Right. Uh, Tommy Lee, I I think Tommy Lee is an underrated element. Like, he's not the most technical drummer, but that fucker grooves. Yes. Oh, it's so good. And his dick's as big as a drumstick, so. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. On and that, on that note, note, 